Hello everyone, I am Mauna Narvani. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study how to insert or add values into the database from JFrame form. If you remember, we had created a student database which consists of login and student info tables. This student info table consists of roll number, name, department, semester and grade. We know how to insert data into this table by using command line statement. That is, we already know how to insert a row into table by using command line. That is, insert into table name values and we specify the values. This was the command line statement. Now, we will see how to insert or save student data into this student info table using GUI that is graphical user interface. User will provide the input in the form of text fields, combo boxes, radio buttons. These values must be inserted into this student info table on button click which means user will click a button like say save button then all the student information must be inserted into this table so that GUI application we are going to create it now for that I am going to do the changes in the same data DB projects the changes will be done in the same this database projects for that First, let's create another JFrame form called as student. Right click on database, click new and select JFrame form. Give the name as student and click on finish. So this student or JFrame form is created. Let's add a label here and we'll display it as student information student information let's uh, let's change some of the properties font color so this is the student information jframe form in the previous video we have seen login with database I am going to do the changes in the same login project. When the login is successful, that is when valid username and passwords are entered, this student JFrame must appear. Whenever user enters valid username and password and clicks on login, this student JFrame must appear. Let's see how that can be done. So for that, come to this login project. Double click on login button. We had written all this code. If the username and password were correct, then it was successful login. We displayed a message dialog box. So after this message dialog box, write the code here. new student so student is the file name here dot set visible set visible true after displaying welcome username successful login write it as new student so here this student is nothing but the same student dot java file name dot set visible true 
let's execute and check the output. So we'll give the admin's username and password. Click on login. So it's a successful login which says welcome admin. Click on OK and this student information JFrame has appeared. If you see here, even this login page is visible. Once we enter with valid username and password and this student information JFrame is visible, we don't want this login form to be visible. For that, just write the code dispose after this new student line. Just write dispose. So this dispose will close the current form that is login form and there will be only one form left on the screen and that will be the student form. Let's re-execute it. See now, this login form is appear. We'll give the valid username and password. So it says, welcome admin, click on OK. Now, only the student JFrame is visible, the login uh, page is not visible. So this dispose will close the current JFrame that is login frame is closed now and only the student information JFrame is visible. Now let's create a GUI that is graphical user interface for reading student details in this student JFrame form. So I'll select some of the labels. So I have inserted the label and name them as roll number, name, department, semester, grade. And I have cha changed some of the properties like the font size, font type, color of the labels. To read roll number, we'll make use of text field. To read name, again, we'll make use of text field. To read department, we'll make use of radio button. Say this first radio button is for ESE. We'll add one more radio button for ISE. Third radio button for EF. So as such, you can add any number of radio buttons. To read semester, again, we'll make use of text field. And to read grade, we'll make use of combo box. To read grade, we'll make use of combo box. Right click on combo box. Select properties. Right click on combo box. Select properties. So here, come to this model. Erase all these four items. Include grades here. Like A, B, C, D, F, and O. Click on OK and click on Close. Include 
buttons two buttons one for save and the other one for clear so as soon as the user clicks the save button all the information given by the user here should be stored in the database clear to erase all the enter data save button and clear let's execute and check how this student j frame will look like click on login welcome admin so this is how the student j frame looks like this is how it looks so here the user will enter roll number name semester and this is the grade drop down list combo box list so here if you see user is able to select all the three radio buttons but this should not be the case with radio buttons user must be able to select any one radio button among these three but here we are able to select all the three radio buttons for that so here there is button group drag and drop it on this j frame the button group drag and drop it on the j frame select this csc radio button right click go to properties so here there is option called as button group and include it in button group 1 click close do the same thing for isc right click properties button group button group 1 close same for the third radio button ec right click properties button group select button group 1 click on close now execute and check it now we are able to make any one selection among these three radio buttons therefore our gui form is ready so if you see here the name of this uh, text field is j text field 1 we'll be using the name of this text field within our code so every time using j text field 1 is quite lengthy so to change the variable name right click on this j text field select change variable name so every time using this j text field 1 is quite lengthy so as this j text field 1 is used to take the roll number i'll rename it as rno so rno is better than j text field 1 click on okay same thing for name right click change variable name j text field 2 i'll just change it to name click on okay similarly for this first radio button it is j radio button 1 as this radio button represents csc i'll re rename it to csc same for the second radio button isc and for third radio button ec and as this text field represents semester so let's rename it from j text field 3 to just sem and this combo box it's j combo box 1 as this combo box represents grade so i'll just rename it to grade click on okay So this is how we are going to create the GUI for reading student information. So 
so that's it in this video in the next video we'll see how to insert data into the database on button click save so when you click a save button whatever the information given here that must be saved into the student info table so that part coding part we'll see it in the next video i hope you have enjoyed this video do like share and subscribe thank you